Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to create razor editing all the time in Reaper. And what I mean by that is that razor editing will be a lot easier to get to at any point. Now I should mention the history of razor editing as it's a newer feature added in Reaper. Previously, we can create time selections like this, move our items like this, but we couldn't create an area just within one track, which was a feature request for many years called area selection. Based on this program, which is considered the industry standard, where you could drag anywhere and create an area to edit just within a track or any tracks you selected. You could still drag up here to create a time selection that selects all the tracks or drag from here to move the items. So people wanted that same functionality in Reaper and it was added and called razor editing. And to trigger it, we'll hold on the modifier Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag anywhere in our timeline like this. And that creates a razor edit just within this track or multiple tracks like this or add in the shift key to create multiple razor edits like this. But that could be harder to do because you have to hold down a modifier and also right drag. And if you're like me and you use a trackpad, right dragging could be harder than left dragging or more inconvenient. And if we just want to eliminate that modifier, we can go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, and scroll down under editing behavior to the mouse modifiers, under a range view, right drag, and hit this button down here, which is going to swap the marquee select and razor edit modifiers. So now, by default, without a modifier, we could right drag to create razor edit areas. So now, without holding down a modifier, we could right drag and create a razor edit. Or hold down the shift key to create multiple razor edits or razor edit areas. So that removes the need for a modifier, but we still have to right drag. Although we could also use these toolbar buttons to left drag to create razor edits. So if we choose this, now we could left drag and that's going to create a razor edit area like this or this across multiple tracks while left dragging. And then turn it off when we're done or we could assign a keyboard shortcut to do it. I assign the B key to turn this option on. Hit B. That turns razor editing on and I can do it like this. Left dragging instead of right dragging. Hit the B key again to turn that option off. Now I can go back to creating a time selection or dragging our items like this. Because with this option turned on, we can't do that. It only creates razor edit areas. We can't drag our items, as we could see with the cursor we see. And to make that easier, we could choose a different option. If we customize the toolbar, let's go down here to razor editing and right click, change action. Here's the action that's assigned to that toolbar button. We could change it to this one instead, which will turn off razor editing after our next mouse up. So let's change that keyboard shortcut to the B key and also select and close it, which will assign it right here. So now we could hit this button, create a razor edit area, and we let go. It turns off that functionality. So now I can create a time selection or grab my items as razor editing is turned off after we used it. Or if I use the keyboard shortcut to turn it on, create a razor edit area like this, let go. It turns off that toolbar button and we're back to the default behavior where you can create a time selection or drag my items. But that's still not as convenient as could be, as we still need to trigger that action 
or that toolbar button to turn on Razor Edit areas. Going back to the other application, we could do it in here just by putting our mouse on the bottom half of our items. So up here, we can drag to create area selection like this. But if we put our cursor or our mouse at the bottom half of our items, we can just drag to move them, which again is a bit more convenient as we don't need to use any modifiers or keyboard shortcuts to trigger this behavior. But luckily, we can do the same thing in Reaper, just using the mouse modifiers. So let's go back to our preferences, under our mouse modifiers, under the context for track left drag. And this is the space between our items, like over here or over here, or above our items. So in here, we could change the default behavior to instead of selecting time, to creating a razor edit area. Just select, and we could also change the shift behavior to add to selection. So now, if we put our cursor over here, notice it changes to the razor edit tool. So now we can create razor edit areas while left dragging without holding down a modifier or hitting a keyboard shortcut or our toolbar buttons. We can just put the mouse or cursor over here or above, and that's gonna create a razor edit area. Hold on the shift key to create more within that context. But that just covers the areas around our items. It doesn't cover within the items. Although we could still drag in the ruler to create time selections. So we still get that behavior. But we could also change another context within our items. Let's go back to our preferences, under mouse modifiers, and our media item context with left drag. And over here, we can change what happens when we drag within our media items. By default, it's gonna move our items, but we could also change this to create a razor edit area as well. Let's do the same for shift to again, add to selection. And that's gonna cover within the item and around the item. Now we can create razor edit areas just like this, while still giving us the ability to create time selections within the ruler. But now we can't drag our items unless we change another mouse modifier. We could also adjust the media item bottom half. And in here, normally it defaults to the top half, but we could change it to the previous behavior, which is to move our items right here. So now if we go to the top half of our items, we can create razor edits. Hold on the shift key to add more like this. Do it on multiple tracks. Go to our ruler to create time selections. But now we can go to the bottom half of our items and move them by dragging them. Just like this. So now we're getting all the different behaviors we want without holding down modifiers, hitting toolbar buttons, or hitting keyboard shortcuts. We could do it all just based on where we place our mouse or cursor. Go to the top half to create a razor edit area or the bottom half to move our items. Or again, go to the ruler to create time selections. Now, if you prefer the opposite behavior where the top half drags the item and the bottom half will create a razor edit area, just reverse it in here. Switch this to move and the bottom half to create razor edit areas. But I kind of prefer it this way with the bottom half where I could drag my items and the top half where we can create razor edit areas. And again, hold on shift to create multiple ones or drag in multiple tracks to select multiple tracks. And again, drag within the ruler, create a time selection or grab the bottom half to move our items. Now, the one thing 
I don't like about this behavior is that we're constantly seeing the Razor Edit cursor. If you're like me and you prefer not to see this quite as often, we can change the cursors in Reaper. If we search on the web for Reaper custom cursors, it should take us to this website where it explains how to create custom cursors in Reaper. But basically for this, we can just download a zip file of all the cursors, go to my downloads folder, and we can see that file right here. Just unzip it, it creates a folder with all the cursors, and we can change them by going back to Reaper, go to our actions, and type resource in the filter and choose show Reaper resource path. Double click it, it opens up with our Reaper install path. And if we go to the cursors folder, we'll see by default it's empty. But we could change it in here to create custom cursors. And to do this, we're just gonna change two of them. The one for razor editing, and also for selecting and moving our items. So I'm gonna go to the arrange iBeam cursor and copy it and paste it into here. Then rename it razor.cur. That's gonna replace the razor editing cursor with the iBeam. Then we'll choose arrange hand scroll, copy it and paste it in here and rename this one arrow.cur. And that's gonna replace our arrow with a hand cursor. We can go back to Reaper. Now to get this to work, we need to quit Reaper and reopen it. And now if I put my cursor over here in the track context, we no longer see the razor edit cursor. We can still drag to create a razor edit area, but it looks more like an area selection. We could drag from here on down, hold on the shift key to create other ones. Do the same within the items and it creates razor edits each time. And we can still go up here in our ruler to create time selections. And then finally, we put our cursor in the bottom half of our items, it changes to a hand cursor, letting us know we could drag or move our items like this, or this, or this, that easily. So just based on where we place our cursor, decides the behavior we get. Up here is our time selection. Anywhere in here or over here is gonna create a razor edit area or an area selection of the tracks we drag to. And if we put our cursor on the bottom half or the top half, if you reverse them, we're gonna get this hand tool, letting us know we can move our items that easily. And if we add these items to the bottom half as well, to add items to the selection with the shift key or toggle item selection with control on the PC, command on the Mac, we could hold down the shift key to select multiple items or control on the PC, command on the Mac to toggle them. We'll just select them one at a time. We'll hold the shift key or we'll toggle them if we want to again, move them like this or create area selections above, over here and over here, or time selections in the ruler. I just think it gives us a lot more flexibility, similar to the reason razor editing was added, as we don't need to use right dragging, modifiers, toolbar buttons, or keyboard shortcuts to turn on this feature. Just put our cursor anywhere up here, or down here if you reverse them, to create razor edit areas. Hold on the shift key to create more. We'll drag down here to move our items, multiple items by toggling them or holding the shift key to select multiple ones next to each other and then move them just as easily. And if you don't wanna change your cursors, you don't have to. I just prefer the area selection look as we still get the razor edit cursor within the razor edits. Just not all the time as we're creating these areas. So that's pretty much it. That's razor editing 
all the time in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. It's Reaper Mania. It's Reaper Mania. Do, 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 do. It's Reaper Mania. It's Reaper Mania. Do, 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 do. Go boys, let's go.